Alright, hey guys, Fiddle Ferret here, and welcome back to another episode of High School Possession. And so before I get started, I just want to do just a quick little, a little chat, and uh, just to clear some things up. Um, I just want to let you guys know that I do actually quite enjoy this game. I think some of the writing and some of the serious tones have been really good. I think it's lost me a few times with some of the way the story has forced me to go. But, um, but I do think this story has a nice serious tone to it. And uh, it's always fun to play up like when you have the bad endings. It's like, oh, it makes you so angry. And uh, but I got I happen to get the worst possible ending in the whole game. There are uh, four different endings, two good, two not so great. But uh, I have I kind of uh, figured out kind of how to get some of the other endings. And I'm looking forward to uh, to go ahead and taking a peek at the at the endings. And uh, so we can see what we get. But anyway, guys, so we're gonna start from here. This is uh, this is like the the easy, the much easy, the this is the much easier of the two endings to get. One of the endings is extremely difficult, and it took me about an hour and a half, two hours to figure out how to get. But first, we're gonna go with Akiko's ending. So this is where I messed up. I really liked the write in her diary idea, but that is just not the way the game wants it. And so we're going to break up with Arata. Arata is the source of a lot of her misery. There's no, there's no guarantee I can trick her. And even if I do, it probably won't last, last in the long run. It would just be a bandaid on a gaping wound. There might, there might not be an exact way to help with her depression. That's more complicated. But I can at least get rid of her problems. I need her phone. I've never been so determined to do anything before. I feel confident, certain, but my fingers are shaking. It's almost hard to type, but I know exactly what I need to say. I never want to see you again. For, for months, I let you do what you wanted to me. I thought your lust would turn to love and you'd make me happy again. Not, not just use me, not just use me as your sex toy. Now, I know you don't care about me. I've known for a long time, really, and I'm done with it. I wish I'd never see you again. There, it's sent. No second guessing, no hesitation, just sent. It's out, it's out there to do whatever it will. And it's just up to, to, to Arata to respond. Actually, never mind. I don't want him to respond. This isn't something that's up for debate. He seems like the type that's e easily intimidated. If you contact me again for any reason, I will go to the police. You're out of my life now, and I want you to stay that way. There. That asshole doesn't get to say goodbye. Ugh. These must be Akiko's emotions. I know, objectively, that that was the right thing to do. There's no doubt in my mind. It still hurts, though. Severing that lifeline and someone Akiko once cared about... I don't care about, about, <clears throat> I don't care or know anything about this guy, but he's still a nostalgic kind of pain. Sorry, Okiko, but it had to be done. I think you know that. At least I hope you do. Maybe it wasn't my decision, but it wouldn't have made it if I didn't think it was for the best. It'll get better from here. I know I can't promise that, but I do believe it. I just hope you believe it too. I can't just leave it like this, with Akiko's feeling so alone. I need to get to someone else. Someone who she can confide in. If I never wake up, I won't be able to help Akiko myself. I need someone who Akiko sees often, though. Kasumi has her own problems right now. I don't think I should burden her with this. Which leaves... Who? This really is a problem. Aside from Arata and myself, I don't know who Akiko is genuinely friends with. At least, genuinely enough to confide in about this sort of thing. This could, <clears throat> this could be disastrous if it ends up in the wrong hands. There has to be... Oh. Yes, this should work nicely. Maybe even better than I expected. Alright, I know who I have to tell. If I leave quickly, I can get to school before most of the students show up. So this is what I thought was interesting. I didn't realize... If I knew all along... If I knew from the very start that no matter which one I picked, he was going to go get additional help, I would have picked Break Up with Arata to begin with. But between Breaking Up with Arata and trying to, like, alter her diary, I thought I didn't realize that no matter what, she would do this. So uh, this is an interesting part. And I'm going to assume you guys have watched my episode uh, 4 
because I'm going to skip through some of this, the stuff that's um, all repeated. And so just be aware of that. I might read some of it, but um, I'm definitely gonna speak the, uh, skip the first part with the teacher, mostly. This is so difficult. Like there's lead in my feet. How do I approach someone with this kind of thing? I can't just blurt it out like, like it's perfectly normal. I know this teacher, and I know she has a reputation for being kind, but it's still not an easy thing to do. Alright, so let's skip ahead a little bit, maybe to um, the next question. So we know she talks to the teacher that she's having problems, and she starts to break down. And this is the next big decision that we come to. It's either we admit the truth, or tell a lie. And so uh, we are definitely going to uh, go ahead and admit the truth again. And so we'll go ahead and we'll start from here. He, um, he was just using me in the end. I really thought he cared about me. I thought no matter how bad things got, at least I would always have him. But over the past few weeks, it's been so stupidly obvious. I, I don't know what kind of person he is. Where's all this emotion coming from all of a sudden? He just wanted to do things, wanted me to do things for him. Sexual things. And I thought if I did them, they'd make me feel better. But... It never did, and it just kept happening. I just wanted to feel something for someone. I felt so trapped, I thought maybe I could get out of it. I just ended everything. If I tried to take my life, I... I'm sorry, I just... Akiko, it's okay. You did the right thing, coming here and talking to me. I... I can't even speak. All these emotions. Is this what Akiko had locked up inside herself this whole time? You haven't tried to hurt yourself, have you? No? Good. You can overcome this, I promise. Did you did you know there are counseling services here provided by the school? Alright, so that's um the same stuff. So we're going to go ahead and skip ahead some more. We came back to uh, Kasumi's thing, and we're not going to pay attention to Kasumi's route right now, because basically we aren't focusing on Kasumi right now. On So we're just going to go ahead. We're just going to go through for the most part, and we'll go ahead and skip this part as well. So we'll go through this again, and then, um, this is one thing I didn't like about the game either. I didn't like that you just forget everything. I thought that was kind of dumb. And so, I really liked certain aspects of the body swapping, but this was not one of them for me. So we're back in the doctor's office, and we're starting to, like, forget things. Uh, I don't know. I remember having a headache. Um, we'll skip ahead a little bit. I hope, I hope Akiko doesn't start talking to... What was his name? Why can't I remember? It was so clear just a second ago. Now, what did happen? Blah, blah, blah. We don't know what happened. It was all a dream. Everything was foggy. How strange. All right, new stuff. So this time we didn't just immediately end with Akiko. Yeah. <laughs> My parents came to see me. My mom was so relieved she just broke down. She cried so much. You would have thought I had died anyway. I can't believe I put her I put that kind of stress on her. I wasn't it wasn't even two weeks, but I know she must have been through a lot. After that, it's gotten really quiet around here. My parents still come by, of course, but Hello? What it's been I only did her voice for such a short period of time. I don't remember what her voice was. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh boy, I really don't remember what her voice was. Let me get a quick drink. Uh, uh. <clears throat> oh, that was nasty. Gross water. Hikaru! You're alright. Thank goodness. The teacher said as much, but... I thought... I I was worried that... It's okay, Akiko. No harm done, I think. I know, but... I just come to see you for myself. I hope you don't mind. I wouldn't... I wouldn't ever mind that. I did have some strange dreams while I was out. I think you were in some of them. You dreamed about me? <laughs> I, I, I hope I made your coma interesting. You could say that. <laughs> I don't know. It probably did, but I can't remember them very well now. They keep slipping further away from away the more awake I, the more I get awake. Well, that didn't make sense. That was my fault. How have you been, Akiko? I was worried about you. I do remember that. Oh, that was a burp and a half. You were worried about me? Well, <clears throat> why would you be worried about me? I don't know, really. I was just... It's one of... <clears throat> That's the only... Th the only certain things I do remember. Oh, maybe... 
Maybe what? I don't know. It's a silly thought, but... Things, things haven't been so great ever since you fell ill. Things were bad before that, too, but everything just got so much worse. Maybe you sense that somehow. Like I said, it's silly and doesn't make any sense, but it's still a nice idea, isn't it? Akiko, what are you talking about? What do you mean things were bad? It's not, um, it's not something that's easy for me to talk about. I've spent so much time hiding it that being open about it now feels wrong. You can tell me. I know. I hope you don't think, <coughs> think, um, I hope you don't think of me differently, but I hadn't really been happy for a long time. I know it didn't seem that way to most people. It's what everyone says. I hadn't been open about any of it until now, so you wouldn't have known either. But it really made me evaluate my life and what I'm doing. And I'm getting help with some of my problems I've been having, emotional things. Uh, this is probably too gloomy of a conversation to have right now. We should be celebrating. No, this is a conversation we should be having right now. I'm worried about you. I didn't have any idea this was going on. And you wouldn't have, but things really got intense the last week or so. I'm sorry I wasn't around for you. No, it's okay. You're sure? I mean, you're alright. I am. I'm getting help now. <clears throat> I... Now that I know you're okay, I really think things, think things are starting to turn around for the better, but... And please don't feel pressured. I probably shouldn't even mention this while you're still in the hospital bed, but I thought... I came so close to losing you without even telling you how I feel, so... I was wondering, once you're well, I... Do you maybe want to go on a date? Maybe? A date? With Akiko? Ah, uh, well... What? I thought I had woken up, but it looks like I'm still dreaming. <laughs> Hikaru, at least give me an answer, please. I would love to go on a date with you. Really? You're not just saying that because, you know, of the stuff I mentioned. Akiko, if you had asked me before now, I would have said the exact same thing. Hikaru, can I, um... Oh, sure. I don't know if that was a time skip because of something... I don't know what kind of time skip that was. Anyway, let's continue. I'm so glad you're okay. I still can't... I can't believe this is actually happening. I missed you so much. I couldn't stand the thought of something happening to you. I don't think I could have hand... Could have handle of it. Hey, I'm alright now. You don't need... You don't need to think... Think about that anymore. Besides, we need you... We need to start planning our date. Hmm, that is something to look forward to. It's bizarre to think that <clears throat> to think that I feel it's bizarre to think that I feel fell into a coma. Is that how you spell fell? I thought it says feel, but maybe it's spelled the same. Oops. And when I woke up, I was suddenly dating Yukiko. Things have been so have been good between us so far. What she said in the hospital was right. She really had been depressed for a long time. But she's working through it, and I try to help her however I can. I can't shake the feeling that something wasn't right with Kasumi too. After Kiko and I talked to her, she confessed to being, being bullied by Rika. We took care of it and, once we got evidence, even managed to have Rika suspended for a couple weeks. Kasumi, Kasumi and Akiko both seem a lot happier now, both inside and out, and I'm glad Akiko and I are to. And, and, and I together didn't ruin my, ruin my friendship with Kasumi. I don't know how falling into a coma actually changed my life for the better, but when I woke up, it was like a different world. I didn't really feel the same about Akiko either. I still liked her, there was no question about that, but it was different somehow. Less idolizing and more real. I'd never been so happy before, and I hope that's true for Akiko too. We're good for each other. With help, with help from the school and support of the teachers, she's really turned things around herself. I'm proud of her. I just can't take the feeling that I was there when... No, it doesn't matter. I... <laughs> it's just a crazy thing. Epilogue. Are you in bed already, Hikaru? We just got back home. Don't tell me you've already fallen asleep. Who said anything about sleep? Besides, I got plenty of that months ago. <laughs> 
Don't remind me about that. Don't remind me about that. I still, I still don't like to think about it. It was a freak occurrence. It's not going to happen again. If I made it through history without falling into another coma, I think I'm pretty safe. Hmm, that's not a bad point, really. Come here, lay down with me. Oh, I don't think so. What? Why not? I know where this is going. What? I mean, that was the idea. But that <clears throat> But it doesn't have to go there if you don't want it to. It's not like it's not like we have to. <clears throat> you didn't think that, did you? Oh, it's not me. Kasumi sent me a text earlier and <clears throat> and said you need to be at your best for the swimming competition tomorrow. So, I'm taking that to mean I can't wear you out. No. Come on, that's completely unfair. And you know that's not what she meant, because Sumi wouldn't have any interest in our sex life. She has an interest in getting and you getting a good time. Why can't there be an interest in me having in me having a good time? You did that you did already you did already you did already say Kasumi wouldn't have an interest in our sex life, which is probably true. But what kind of friend would I be if I didn't uphold her request? What about the fact that, uh, um, sex is good for morale? It'll give me proper motivation for tomorrow. <laughs> It'll probably set my best time yet, with the right incentive. I knew you'd find some way to talk your way into it. In fact, I was counting on it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I was just teasing. You look so hopeful, I had to string you along for a little. Such a cruel mistress. <laughs> if I- <clears throat> if I kiss- if I kiss you, will it make it, will it make it up to you? Though we're st we're starting things off a little earlier than usual, aren't we? I don't know if we I didn't I don't know if we have a usual. It's sort of sporadic still. Hmm. Whenever the mood strikes, but always but I always get sleepy afterwards. But hey, you know we can just lie down together without actually doing anything, right? I know, I know. I really was just teasing you, promise. Maybe this will prove it. Oh boy, schnitzel! She's taking off her clothes! Red light, sound the alarms! C Code red, I repeat, this is not a drill! All right. It took us a while to get to this point in our relationship. Akiko was very uncertain about sex at first, but she seems to enjoy it a lot. Well, most people usually do. Apparently her ex made her pretty hesitant about it, but when she figured out it wasn't just just I wasn't just here for that, I actually care about her and <clears throat> and want her and want to be here for her. And then obviously, uh, that's the sex scheme. If you want that, by the manga gamer, or there will be a patch on Steam for it. Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho! Hikaru, <laughs> that was so intense. Didn't I say we should take it slow at first? Hmm, I really like that. With you, I always feel so satisfied after. Completely blissful. And I'm completely spent. Let's just stay like this for a bit. I don't think I have much choice. Now, now I just want to curl up and go to s and, and to sleep on you. Come here then. I'm, clean I'm completely behind that idea. I wasn't planning to go to bed so early. But I probably should. Don't you have an appointment with a psychiatrist tomorrow morning? Yeah. Yeah, but I still I still want to stay here but stay up a bit longer. Even if I'm too lazy to do, to do anything but kiss you. Hmm. You taste amazing. Why don't we why why don't we always cuddle up and lay around in bed like this? Something about responsibilities, I think. Hmm, right. Let's not think about those right now. Hey, Hikaru? You know how important you are to me, don't you? I think so. Why? I was just thinking. About that appointment tomorrow, how it's probably going to go. You've helped me so much, so much around since you've been in my life. I know it hasn't been easy emotionally. I've been in some dark places, especially when we first started dating. It was probably a bad time for us to make that kind of commitment, but I think I needed it. Honestly, I just want to take a moment to comment on how gorgeous the music is, and has been in this whole game, actually. The music is amazingly complimentary. Honestly, 
There were times when I wasn't sure why you would stay around, but you always did. Akiko, most of the credit is yours. You've done all the hard work, getting yourself where you are now. I just happened to be around while you did, and happy to be too. That might be true, but I don't think I would have come this far without you. It's nice to just have someone to talk about things, someone who's there for you. So thank you. You don't have to thank me, Akiko. I'm not doing it for favors. It's just about being there for each other. That's just part of it now, right? Right, but I'm still grateful for it. I love you. I love you too, Hikaru. Ending one. Girlfriend named Akiko. Yay! <laughs> we got a good ending, guys! Now, that ending was extremely sweet. Um, very nice. Um, a nice resolution. And a nice way to also have uh, Kasumi have a fairly nice ending as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that um, much better than the fourth ending. And I will just tell you right now, because we are going to look at the third ending. All the third ending is, is basically the fourth ending. But, um... But basically, Kasumi uh, ends up, like, kind of, like, happy. And she she just turns you down, like, nicely. And so, that's basically all the third ending is. So, it's just, like, the let down nice ending. But anyway, guys, um, I hope you look forward to the Kasumi ending. Because it is extremely difficult to do. But I did finally manage to do it after a while. So, I hope you'll come back for that last episode. But anyway, guys, I've been Fiddle Ferret. And I will see you back on the Prowl next time. Bye bye